Question 4. When we divide 2x plus 1 by x plus 2, the result will be equal to 2 plus b over x plus 2. Now, that can be written as 2 by x plus 2 plus b all over x plus 2. And from this form, we can equate the 1 will be equal to 4 plus b. Which tells us that b equals minus 3. So our finished result is 2 plus minus 3 over x plus 2. This result can also be obtained from our class pad using the proper fraction command. To find the rule in B part 1, we solve the following. If we simplify our answer, we get a slightly nicer version of our rule for F inverse. won't include the value 2, as we can see from the denominator of our rule. Once we've transposed x and y. To compute the shaded region required, we need to equate our function to x to find the intersection points that bound the region. So the region goes from minus 1 to 1. So we need to compute the definite integral of the function minus x from minus 1 to 1. From our previous work, we know that the function f of x intersects the line y equals x at the points 1, 1 and minus 1, minus 1. F inverse is the reflection of f of x through this line y equals x. Based on this, we know that this area here that was found in B part 2 and this area here will be equal. And so the answer required here is twice the answer provided earlier. Minus 6 log base e of 3 plus 8. Alternatively, we can find the area between two functions on our class pad. Solving this equation will tell us where the two functions meet. So as our functions meet at minus 1 and 1, this integral will give us the area required. Part C asks about the minimum distance OP. This distance OP is given by the function d equals the square root of c squared plus f of c squared. And to find the minimum distance, we can solve d dashed equals to zero. The 
So there's our distance function and its derivative can be set to zero. And solved. As we know that c is greater than minus 2, we know that our value is c equals root 3 minus 2. The y coordinate at this point can be found. as can the distance. And so the minimum distance is square root of minus 8 by root 3 plus 14. The relationship in part D is suggestive of a rate of change. So let's consider g dashed x. There's our function g. And there's its derivative g dash x. As we know that k is greater than 1, we know that k squared minus 1 is greater than 0. And we also know that x plus k all squared is greater than 0. This means that g dashed x is positive. That means that g of x is increasing. This means that if x2 is greater than x1, then g of x2 will be greater than g of x1, which is another way of saying that x1 less than x2 implies that g of x1 is less than g of x2, which is what we require. In part 1 of part e, to find this point of intersection, we need to solve g of x is equal to minus x. So we have two solutions. As we know that x is in the set neg k to infinity, we choose the value greater than negative k, which will be negative k plus the square root of k squared minus 1. As we know y equals minus x, y will be equal to k minus the square root of k squared minus 1. Now that we have the coordinates of x in terms of k, we can find the value of k for which the coordinates are minus a half, comma a half. 
This can be done by solving minus k plus the square root of k squared minus 1 equal to minus a half. So we have the value k equals 5 on 4. E part 3 looks at the area of the triangle x, y, z. The area of this triangle is equal to a half by the distance z, y by the distance o, x. And therefore, S of K being the square of the area of the triangle is equal to one quarter DZY squared by DOX squared. Now the distance YZ is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle, side length two, therefore it is square root eight. distance OX squared is equal to the square of the X coordinate as found in the previous question plus the square of the Y coordinate and we wish to solve when this is greater than or equal to 1 So the distance is 2 by the square of the x coordinate plus the square of the y coordinate, remembering that the x and y coordinates are the negatives of one another. So when this is greater than or equals to 1. As we know that k is greater than minus 1, we know that s of k is greater than or equal to 1 for k between 1 and 5 on 4. The region in part f is bounded by y equals x and y equals g of x. These two functions meet where g of x equals x. Therefore, the region A of K can be found by the definite integral from minus 1 to 1 of G of X minus X dx, given that K is greater than 1. which gives us the rule a of k equals minus ln k plus 1 over k take 1 by k squared minus 1 plus 2k. For 4f part 2 we know that for all k, g of x 
passes through the points 1, 1 and minus 1, minus 1. And we know that g dash x is greater than 0. As k approaches 1 from above, g of x approaches 1 And so the area approaches the area of this triangle so the area approaches a half by 2 by 2 which equals 2 and as A of K being a region is greater than zero, we know that A of K is bounded by zero and two.